The yield curve has been getting a lot of press over the last uh, two or three quarters. Now let's just define what it means first. So the yield curve is a depiction of yields uh, from very short or overnight rates all the way out to 30 years. And in general, uh, a positively shaped yield curve where long rates are higher than short rates is a sign of a well-functioning economy um, where there is a profit motive through, throughout not just the, the users of capital, but the providers of capital. When the yield curve gets very flat or gets inverted when short rates are higher than long rates, it, it shows, we think, that there's a lot of pressure building in the economy. And here's why. It, the yield curve is a rough approximation for the cost of capital and the return on that capital for businesses. And if the yield curve is flat or inverted, it shows that your return on the capital uh, is very close to the cost. And in that sort of environment, there's not a lot of need to expand. At the same time, if you are a provider of capital, so think you're a bank or an insurance company, when you are borrowing and lending off the same rate, it's very hard for financial intermediaries to make an adequate profit. So when you have a flat curve, when you have an inverted curve, that implies that the folks who are demanding capital, so think businesses, as well as the institutions that are providing that capital, both have an incentive to slow down, to be less dynamic. And when that occurs, the economies tend to stutter. Um, so again, the shape of the yield curve, it doesn't mean we have to have a recession, but it does show there are significant pressures building in the economy.